guys, PC Gamer, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. I thought in this tutorial we'd go quickly through how to um, basically fire a AGM and how to get all your speed and uh, soy and all that set up. So the first thing you want to do is fence in um, or get the A10C combat ready from the air and I have a tutorial on how to do that as well. I'll put that down in the link in the description below. So basically you want to turn your um, your TGP to air to ground mode and you want to have your Mavericks up as well. Now. The first thing you can see is I have an airstrip right off here. So if you don't have a um, a point of interest on your flight plan like I don't, what I like to do is set my um, HUD as uh, soy, and then I want to move my SPI on my soy down here, my uh, sensor point of interest or this little box. And I want to get it right about over the airfield, and then I'm going to set it as the SPI. So that'll be good there. And I can do this by pressing and holding TMS up long. And now you have set it as your speed. You just kind of want to hold it for a few seconds there. And now the next thing you want to do is make your uh, TGP soy and then slew your TGP and well, all your sensors to that um, speed that you just set. You can do that by pressing and holding China hat forward long. And as you can see, now everything has slewed basically to the uh, airfield. And then what I like to do is press China hat forward short. And now I can zoom in and see exactly what I'm looking at. You can also change the... Um, the backlighting setting using the China hat switch as well. And now what I'll do is kind of zoom in um, and just try to find where I set that um, speed, which should be an airfield somewhere around here. Okay, now that we're slewn or slewed onto the airfield, as you can see, you have a couple of targets here. You just want to use your um, whatever you have set for your kind of your slew for your you know your sensor or whatever. Um, you just want to want to move it around and then. I like to do a short uh, TMS up short to put it into point mode and then TMS up long We'll set that as our speed come over here to our Maverick page set that as soy zoom in as much as we can using the China hat switch and then we can also kinda mess around as you can see those you may be able to see it those little white dots are what we uh, want to latch onto and once this latches on you'll be able to see what I mean it will kinda grab on it's almost like it's what it's doing now but we're just out of range slightly while we're waiting for this to get into range you want to come over to our dismiss page and go ahead and select our AGM 65D or whatever else you may be carrying go ahead and switch back to the TGP page and then reslew our um, Maverick Seeker to our zone here our combat zone as you can see now we're a bit more in range and we can probably get a latch or a lock there we go. So now, now we are locked on to our uh, target for the T, uh, the uh, Maverick Head Seeker, as well as the TGP. And then basically, all you want to do is make sure your master's on and you have your uh, AGM65 selected, and just press your pickle or um, uh, whatever you have set to fire your like your rockets and things like that. And as you can see, you would say rifle. And as you can see, that huge trail there, going down to assess that target. And you could fire these off um, in rapid succession, so like this, there'd be another rifle, and if you can get one, there'd be another rifle there. So it's a rifle after all of those. I'm just going to latch on to something else here so this stays. There we go. Now he should blow up here any minute. We should have, okay, yeah, he's gone. So there's our first uh, Maverick that has successfully destroyed that target. And now there's this thir so the uh, second Maverick has destroyed its target. And the third, if it doesn't, there it goes. The third has also destroyed its target. So that's basically the, the fundamentals of how to fire Maverick is you want to find whatever target you, you have over here on your TGP, set that as your speed, and then come over here and then slew your um, Maverick head seeker to that speed and then fire whenever you're ready. Make Just make sure that you have your Maverick selected. So here's a little bit of a tip, um, depending on what controls you may have mapped to your Maverick seeker head here, especially when you're, if you find that you're trying to lock onto a target and it's a bit too sensitive and you're kind of walking all over the place like this, trying to get it to lock, what you can do is come up here to your um, your number pad basically, and right here you see slew of 5, sometimes I'll put this on, just press 8, and then press slew, and that puts the slew at 8, and now as you can see, it's a bit more uh, sensitive if I put this on, I don't know if it'll take 10, see if it won't. No, it won't. So it only goes up to, I think, 9. If you clear that, press 9. 
Yeah, so it only goes up to 9. But as you can see, it's much slower, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. And if you find that it's too, um, too slow, what you can do is just clear what you have in there, and then you can press like 2 or something. Now your slew is 2, and it's really, really, really fast. So there you go. That's just a little tip I thought I'd share um, while we're doing this tutorial on, on your uh, uh, Maverick, sl uh, Maverick Seeker Head uh, slew rate. So I think that's going to do it um, for this video, guys. I hope you guys take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.